Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com. In the last few months, I've gotten a bunch of requests to show you how to do certain skills. So over the summer, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we'll put the deek of the week on hold until the winter time, and during the summer, we'll stick to off ice training and stick handling stuff like that. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a saucer pass, and the next video, I'll show you how to do the backhand toe drag. So sticking with the, the saucer pass. It's a very important skill to have because you're going to have to be able to dish that puck when there's people trying to block your pass and pick it off. So the saucer pass is perfect to get that puck over the sticks, over the defenseman, over the people that are trying to block it, dish the puck, and set up those perfect passes. So let's get right to it. I'll show you the basics in slow motion. You can see the blade is open like a wedge. Puck starts at the heel of the blade. I'm pushing the puck forwards while pulling the blade in towards my body a little bit. And what that's doing is putting a lot of spin on the puck. And that will give it a nice flat tra trajectory and it's going to land nice and flat on the ice giving the perfect pass to the person you're passing it to. So you can see here's a few fast motion ones. Just a little chip shot. This is just a short one. I'm putting it over something that's only a few feet away from me. But you can do the exact same thing if the person's you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 feet away. You just got to put a little bit more power on it. Uh, just quickly I'll talk about the products here. I've got the dryland training tiles. The X deviator is the thing in the middle, and the X passer is at the end. It's just a little pass rebounder. So these are all fun things to use. I have the slide board there, but I'm not using it in this video. Uh, here's a few more fast ones just to show you. If you want to get a little bit more power on it, you can just do a little toe flick at the end, and that just sends it a bit further. So this is a nice different angle that I'm doing it from just to sort of give you an idea of what it looks like from this angle. And here I'm just going to stack 11 pucks, see if I can sauce pass over there. And let's see, sauce bounce right over top, no problem. So you can see you can get it up pretty quickly. That's only like a few feet away. Here's the backhand, same motion on the backhand. Uh, start at the heel, blade open slightly, and just kind of chip it over top. And for a really long saucer pass on the backhand, I find it helps to uh, flick the toe a bit to send it further. And here I'm just laying some sauce in the backyard. Uh, so you can see I'm getting pretty good distance just with little chip, chip sh shots out there. And if you really want to send it down the ice, you can do a bit more like a wrist shot. But with a saucer pass, it lands softer and it's a bit slower, so it's easier for the uh, player to get. Here is a flip pass where I'm pulling the puck in with the toe and then flipping it up with the blade. Uh, that'll send it really high in the air. And the key here is to wait and be patient and not push up too hard on the puck. Because if you uh, flip it up and put too much power, then the blade is going to come right out from underneath the puck. So you want to pull it in with the toe, uh, wait until you can sort of feel the puck on the blade, and then pu push up towards the uh, ceiling, basically. Because if you just put all your effort into it, the blade will come right out from underneath the puck. So that's it. I've got one more tip for you that I'm going to give you in just a second. First, we'll go over the basics. Uh, basically, start with the puck uh, at the heel of the blade and have the blade open, sort of like a wedge. And with the puck at the heel, put some pressure on the puck, and as you're moving the puck forward, it's going to cut on the blade and get it up nice and flat. And then you want to pull the blade like that so it sweeps and the puck comes to the toe. If you want to give a little extra pressure at the end, just give a little bit of a flick motion to get that puck moving and flatten it out. So that nice sweeping motion will put a lot of uh, sauce on the puck, make it spin and make it hover. And that's what's going to get that nice floater puck to land perfectly for whoever you're passing to. That last tip that I'm talking about is that the puck isn't always going to be standing still. So practice stick handing a little bit, bringing the puck in, and then putting the sauce on. So once you've mastered doing that perfect saucer pass with the puck standing still, now practice doing a bit of stick handling, bring the puck in, and then put the sauce on. Keep on practicing, guys. Remember to check the next video. It's about how to do the backhand toe drag. Thanks a lot for watching the videos, and thanks for subscribing to howtohockey.com.